In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a video with built-in macOS applications. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Unit Converter, and the good news is that if you have a Mac computer and you want to make videos, you don't need anything else. Mac computers are really expensive, I'll admit, but they come with applications that you would otherwise have to purchase on other systems. And when it comes to video making, those tools can get really pricey. Luckily, iMovie is a built-in video editor on the Mac computers and on iOS devices as well that you can use to make YouTube videos. <laughs> the thing is that in most cases, the simplest tools are enough to make a YouTube video because let's admit, what do you need for YouTube video? You need to be able to trim the video footage that you record. You need to be able to add audio effects and music. You need to add maybe some texts. Uh, call to action elements, overhead elements like images and logos, um, transitions, zoom ins, and that's it. And guess what? You can do all of these in iMovie. Moreover, you can work with green screen footage, you can stabilize your footage. It has a lot of built in animated texts, built in uh, filter layers for your footage. You can even do simple animations like moving an object from A to B. Even though creating nice animations is something that iMovie lacks, but I have good news for that too. You can use Keynote to do that. Now within Keynote, first of all, if you're making a presentational video with a voiceover, you can create an entire presentation within Keynote with all the animations that you need and then throw that into iMovie, put audio under it or put your footage on top of it and just compile and finish up the entire video there, even though you can also record audio within Keynote. So if you just want voiceover and presentation, you don't need anything else. But if you only need the animations in Keynote, you can make them and then export them as GIFs or PNG files with a transparent background, throw them into iMovie and keep working on your video. Okay, Dom, that's all neat and wonderful, but how do I record myself? Well, you do have a phone, no? That's perfectly enough. In fact, I am recording this video on my iPhone. Or you can use your built-in webcam on your Mac computer, even though probably your phone can shoot in higher quality. And also, if you have an iPhone, you can connect that to your Mac computer and record it directly into your computer using QuickTime. How cool is that? But you can connect any external webcams or even audio recording devices to your Mac computer and record with them using QuickTime. And besides using it to record with a webcam or with your iPhone, you can also record your screen with it. And this is a feature that I use every single day and is super important when it comes to making YouTube videos because it's very often needed. And with Comment, Shift and 5, you can bring up the Screen Capture Toolbox and start recording your screen directly from there. So let's review the tools that we need to make a video. Video editor, check the box. Recording video footage, check the box. Recording screen, check the box. Making animations, check the box. Naturally, there are those videos where you just can't avoid using other tools to make the video. For example, if you wanna use some 3D footage in your video and you wanna convert 2D videos into 3D that iMovie cannot do, but any racer does, which is a 2D to 3D converter and you can watch the 3D footage without glasses and it just makes your video more unique and it gives it something that you just don't see every day. Or if you have horizontal videos but you want to turn them into vertical ones for YouTube Shorts or TikTok or Instagram Reels, you can use the auto crop tool within the unit converter to convert horizontal videos into vertical ones with just one click and it will also make sure that it will keep what's important in the center automatically very useful but again if you just want to make simple videos like this one iMovie keynote and quicktime are perfectly enough and now if you're wondering if i use these three tools to make this video you are right because i did in fact i also recorded this entire video using my iphone except for the footage where i recorded my iphone because obviously i couldn't record my iphone with my iphone so if you want to make videos but you're not already making them, but you have a Mac and a smartphone, which I'm sure you do, what's your excuse? But that is it for this video. I hope you learned something new about video making. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section below. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you 
in the next video.